Long and crescent-shaped, Kwajalein is the largest coral atoll in the world. The targets are the main island of Kwajalein at the southern tip, and the island of Roy Namur the next day. Since they're 40 miles apart, the assault requires two separate campaigns. The plan, hit Kwajalein on day one, then attack Roy Namur the next day. As they approach Kwajalein on February 1st, the enemy is nowhere in sight. And the bomb damage is surreal. The Japanese are caught defending the wrong beach. The landings go off with the precision of a drill. They clear the island in four days. Now that the island is secure, America deems it safe for nurses. Women in the Pacific aren't allowed anywhere near combat areas. Little more than a year ago, 77 nurses were taken prisoner in the Philippines. So on Kwajalein, nurses are under a tight watch. Fenced in quarters, strict curfews, and armed escorts. We worked seven to seven, and we rotated for night duty. We didn't get a day off. They work hard and make the most of whatever downtime they have in their temporary tropical home. So far, 60,000 nurses serve far and wide on America's war fronts. But women are doing more than nursing. Every service branch is making room for new roles. Some jobs are familiar, but others are brand new.